friends in this video we will learn how to solve expressions having prefix and postfix operators in java they are also called as unary operators as they operate on only a single operand they can be plus plus or minus minus if any of them such as plus plus comes before the operand then it is called as prefix and if the operand comes after then it is called as postfix these two behaves differently in different situations before i start explaining prefix and postfix operators i want to ensure you know some other basics as well when you are given a problem to solve it might look something like this it is not just a question on unary operators for solving these you need to know other operators and their precedence as well First let me cover precedence I am not displaying the entire precedence table I am showing the operators which are typically used in solving unary expressions you need to remember and apply this precedence when solving these equations next I am quickly covering how to use a couple of operators like division and modulus if a division operator has both int value as numerator and denominator it will return only int value like in this example even if we assign it to double the calculation first happens as int only and then it is just converted to double so we still lose the decimal value but if one of the values numerator or denominator is float or double then there is a type promotion and the calculation happens in double in most of the prefix postfix problems you will see mostly integer division happening now let's see modulus or percent operator it returns the remainder value only which is also int value if both numerator and denominator is int for example 7% 4 will return 3 4% 6 will return 4 if one of the value is double it will then return the double value as shown again in most prefix and postfix questions you will encounter int values only now that we have covered the basics let's learn the prefix and postfix operators first we will see what happens if they appear individually if you just write x plus plus or plus plus y you will see in the answer it is incrementing the values in both the cases and it's very straightforward and simple increment by 1 that's why if you have worked with for loop you will see it does not make a difference if in for loop you put prefix or postfix both behave the same you will notice its prefix and postfix behavior when other operators such as equal to sign comes into picture so if we have two programs and in one we have y is equal to plus plus x and in the second we have y is equal to x plus plus and you run it you will see x is anyway incremented in both whether it is prefix or postfix so its value is 6 but y which was assigned a prefix operator here x got incremented first and then its value was assigned to y so it got assigned value of 6 but in the second code where y got a postfix operator the value was assigned to y first and then x was incremented so it got a value of 5 only let's take a little longer expression and see how to solve it in this first one since plus plus operator has higher precedence we first substitute the value of plus plus a since it is a prefix we put the value of 5 and then plus substitute value of b which is 8 multiplied by 2 now in this equation do not forget bod mass while solving and do 8 multiplied by 2 first and then add 5 so we get the answer as 21 now we will solve the second equation here we will first write 4 plus as is next since it is postfix we will substitute the value of b first which is 8 and then increment b 
so b becomes 9 but the value used in the equation is 8 only we then note down the percent 6 as is now we will again not forget the precedence and solve 8 percent 6 first which will give us 2 which we will add to 4 to get 6 now let's take some problems which have multiple prefix and postfix in one equation Let's take the first equation. Here first is prefix, so we increment a and then substitute the value, so a becomes 7. Now you need to remember that a is 7 now, not 6 anymore. So when the next postfix operator comes, here we substitute the value 7 and then increment its value to 8. So a has got incremented twice. And we have substituted the value as per prefix or postfix. Now when we solve it, we get the answer as 2. Let's take the second equation now. First we encounter a postfix. So we substitute the value 9 first and then decrement the value of b to 8. Then we encounter another prefix. Since it is a prefix, we increment 8 to 9 and substitute that value. Then we copy minus 3 as is. Now when you solve it, you get 15 as the answer. Now we will introduce the next level of complexity where we have compound assignment operators like plus equal to, multiply equal to, etc. So in the first equation, we first open the compound assignment operator. We substitute the value of D and plus the remaining equation in bracket as is. Now we will solve the equation in brackets like we did earlier. We first put the value of b which is 9 and then decrement b to 8. Then we write 5 star as is and then substitute the b as 8 and then increment its value to 9. Then we copy minus and then first subtract b that is make 9 8 and then substitute its value. Then we solve it using board mass to get 41. Then we add it to 5 to get 46. Now let's solve the second equation. Again we first expand the compound assignment statement and write a is equal to 6 multiplied by the whole equation in bracket as is. In the compound assignment problems Adding this bracket is very important as the equation changes completely if you forget to put the bracket and you will get a wrong answer. Now let's solve the equation in bracket first. We first increment a so it becomes 7 and then substitute its value. Then we write minus and since it is a prefix so we decrement first and then substitute the value 6. We copy star 2 plus as is. Then again it is postfix. So we copy 6 here and then increment it to 7. Now when we solve the equation in brackets, we get 7 minus 12 plus 6 which gives us 1. We then multiply it by 6 to get 6. Now do remember we have value of a as 7 earlier. But now that will be overwritten by this equal to value which is 6. So the new value of A is 6. I hope you now understand how to solve these problems. If you still have any doubts, you can always write to us or join our online classes as well. Thank you and all the best.